Welcome to Gaming Fin, your channel for everything related to the gaming industry and the stock market, my friends. And today I'm going to talk about CD Projekt. So, you know, I talk a lot about this stock, but in my opinion, it's it's one of the most exciting stocks at the moment when it comes to the gaming industry. There's no sense talking about Activision at the moment, since we know they will be taken over by Microsoft. And also, for example, there's no real sense talking about Zynga as a stock. But I know there are also a lot of other stocks and you find already a couple of videos on my channel where I cover also some other more tiny uh, gaming companies. So guys, what are we seeing today in CD Projekt? CD Projekt is closing today in Warsaw at the stock exchange with minus 10.24%. So let's say minus 10% down on one single day. So why is this happening? Why is this happening, my friends? So it's very simple. We had a earnings, a fiscal uh, a year um, well, earnings call we had it uh, i think it was on friday and on friday the markets were closed so therefore nothing happened there i made a video uh, two days ago already 49 views that's pretty cool thank you for everyone who was watching it so i i make a, a more detailed analysis and uh, what what was my conclusion i want to give you shortly a conclusion of my analysis the conclusion was uh, mostly that the situation uh, is actually not so the sentiment is not really so positive. There's really a lot of negativity in CD Projekt in the stock. So uh, either it is the fact that uh, that Witcher 3, the next gen version, uh, has been postponed indefinitely. And then on the other hand, also only next year, we're going to see a Cyberpunk uh, DLC. So this will also take uh, quite a lot. So, and in my opinion, uh, also with regard to, to, to what we can expect from the company in 2022, there's really, really not a lot of positive news. 2022 uh, might, be, uh, might be kind of a dead year for the stock. So also little disclaimer, I'm invested in CD Projekt. I'm invested for the long term. I'm invested with 1.23%. I think it's now of my overall uh, portfolio so that's not a lot so i'm very very much diversified and uh, of course i'm not a uh, i'm not an uh, invest investing investor adv advisor i'm i'm just a retail investor so therefore of course uh, just take this as educational as opinion uh, purposes and make up your own mind so this disclaimer aside guys so i mean let's let's have a let's have a short look at this at the chart because i mean uh, we can talk about the fundamentals i talked about the fundamentals in my previous video i mean in this video we talk about the chart and i told you i'm for example in the long term invested this means even if the sentiment is so negative as it is right now i'm not going to sell my my cd project i'm also i'm also down so i think my average uh, my average uh, 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 my average share price I have now is 220 slotty. So uh, for for actually the stock going up there again, we need like 70 slotties up. So, but I also understand some people are might buy 300 slotties or 350 slotties up uh, on average. So of course this is then this is then definitely uh, feels or it feels very bad because you turn down a lot. So therefore always diversify and also consider investing for the long term. If you can't invest for the long term, then don't invest at all. So that's the typical uh, stock, the stock uh, investors advice that you might get from all your Warren Buffett, uh, Charlie Munger videos, of course. So I, I was drawing here a little trend line when we when we saw uh, finally the stock breaking out in in June uh, 2016, I was also drawing my Fibonacci retracement to this breakout here, and then actually it started. So Witcher 3, I think Witcher 3 came out in 2015. So maybe here you saw already a little breakout. So a little bit, a little now from from looking from today there, but uh, of course in comparison to what was coming afterwards, this was not really the biggest breakout. So, so until then. A lot of momentum, a lot of positive energy, cyberpunk announcement. We had so many hype videos. The whole internet was hyped. The whole gaming community was hyped. Game comes out, stock drops, bam. So, and here, what you see here, this was actually uh, Elon Musk saying, yeah, by the way, you can play cyberpunk in a Tesla on a Tesla computer. <laughs> Great. Uh, and after this, uh, just it just went down, down, down. So you can say now this is lost money. This is this is uh, th those are actually uh, this is a uh, one lost year. Definitely now one lost year. We're more or less uh, where we have been in May 2020, 21. 
so we are there again but to be honest it looks much more negative than there because you see well, higher here in the candle so we have a full candle down so this is much more negative so so i don't have a crystal ball i can but i can look a little bit here on the chart and i would say the support is at 130 slotty so there, there seems to be a very, very strong support to the up and to the downside. And also with regard to the Fibonacci retracement. So I think, I think, no crystal ball guys. So I think we will test this. This is now really my opinion. Therefore, I, I, I thought about, okay, if we if, if we are really breaking here through uh, through through this diagonal, what, what was I was uh, that I was drawing here uh, since since month I have this diagonal and I hoped actually that we're closing up above the di diagonal. This would have been uh, bullish, but with the overall market situation and uh, here's the Nasdaq for example. So of course the market situation for the Nasdaq for tech stock is not good for gaming stocks in general is not good. So therefore I knew that we might not come back to uh, to to close uh, above this this trend line. So so what happened? We are now under this trend line and we're heading definitely to the 130 slotties. And I would say guys, so it's maybe here something 115, 130, 135 slotties, something like this. So most probably we are falling back to this place and then i could imagine that we have some some support there because then some more positive news will come or maybe the overall market situation will also change with regard to the fed with the nasdaq with regard to growth stocks with regard to those stocks that have been punished now after the pandemic is more or less over in all countries after after the the, the stay at home stocks have been punished uh, throughout uh, uh, throughout the sector you can you can uh, look also at the peloton or at other stocks of course so that's very much possible and i personally that's now my opinion so what i might i might actually get in again here at the 115 slotties this would be for me very very interesting to get in again because then i then i can i can i i simply imagine looking at cd project and also having those new games having now uh, the two triple a games that they are going to uh, develop uh, in parallel and also their uh, the uh, transformation they have with the company by itself uh, and also also with the with new teams they have so i i cannot imagine that this stock goes back here to some 20 or or even 100 100 slotty so 100 slotty hmm. i mean it can happen so but at the moment i cannot imagine this so at the moment i have the impression that we going to go back up uh at, at one point so and and why i'm saying this because uh look look at this we, we are since one year we're going sideways so this is actually this is actually positive so this means there is a all the negativity that we have since one year so it kind of slowed down and now we have just this this maybe this is 10 percent adjusted trading uh dry trading downturn so it's very much possible that actually uh that this this was now just because of the very negative uh, earnings call the nega very uh, negative uh, uh things that the ceo and uh, uh and the cfo said though there was nothing so positive check check my video so so because of this uh, of these aspects and that 2022 will be also lost here probably for city project therefore we were kind of falling now so so i expect them to fall more and then at one point i will continue making videos and then i might uh, buy some more but at the moment i'm not buying more because i i have 1.26 percent for one stock i'm already way too much in in the stock so that's my problem so there's way too much money already in it from for me with regard to my overall portfolio and uh, to average down i i definitely want to see uh, even more losses but if it goes up now i'm fine i'm fine i didn't have i didn't put any more money in then i'm then i'm just enjoying that it going is going up again i'm also not going to be angry and i'm also not going to formowing after the uh, after the share price so that i'm buying then up uh, when it goes up again because to be honest so we we can be in this range here between those two fibonacci retrace, retracements uh, actually a uh, way longer so is it uh, when it's dropping here in the red well then <laughs> then we have a totally different situation hope it's not going to happen but hope uh, in the stock market yeah that's another question so what was happening so here uh, we have gaming industry uh, very quickly some numbers so in 2019 th this was prior to cyberpunk's release they were making 121 million 
uh, US dollars in earnings and uh, for 2021 they were making 207 million in earnings so this is now the year before cyberpunk came out and then and then now let's say uh, cyberpunk plus one year so there, there you see it's actually not very positive also if you look here i mean on on uh, on uh, yahoo finance you see you see a lot of negativity a really negative rating an average price target that's even under what we have now so there's so much negativity and it's amazing and also they're, they're missing they're missing actually uh the earnings call so so i would say there's something something is kind of off here because then on the other hand so maybe the analysts uh, I, I was i was listening to the earnings call and they were uh, really smart analysts from Barclays and I think JP Morgan and other uh, huge companies so uh, banks so then they then they're missing the point kind of well or then maybe it's also just the fact that CD project they were also not answering on all questions they were saying oh we cannot give give a, an outlook we cannot do this we cannot do that so that's maybe also a reason so maybe they have to to improve a little bit the the, the information they are sharing with us so, but that's just a little bit critic for my side because the earnings call was giving me a, a more negative sentiment that I have than I had before the earnings call. So now you see a PE ratio of 1367. Uh, so, well, we, we're starting to become uh, for a growth dog, guys. It's a growth dog. We're coming really in, uh, in some spheres that are definitely funny to see. So then on market screen, uh, you, here you can also see a little bit. The, this is the target price consensus revision last 18 months. Uh, you can see the, the, the range. The range a little bit and so that's uh, that's actually interesting to see also consensus uh, detail so see this negativity sell six analysts say sale five underperform five hold so this is a death sentence normally for a stock it's extremely negative here also you see it's an orange so sell 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 number of analysts so very negative guys very negative and uh yeah, and then if you could look at the trading view, that those are just technicals. It means what happened now in the in the last days. Uh, strong sell, of course. I mean, ten if a stock goes down, then it's a sell. But also the analyst rating is here medium sell. It's also not pretty well. So a lot of people uh, give probably here predictions or how they trade this. But in my opinion, it's a, a, it's it's not really a stock I would trade. I would not trade it. It's a stock for, to for a long term investor. So if you if you have time now for the next five years minimum, guys, next uh, five years minimum, then maybe this is a stock to invest. So if you if you if you believe that the stock is coming back, then in five years we're definitely higher than now. So if you buy now for the next five years, you you will most probably most probably you will not lose uh, money. So but you can also wait a little bit more, I guess, until it falls. And if it's not falling, well then. And it's also not uh, the end of the world. All right, guys. So I would say uh, I'm closing down this video with uh, those uh, those information. So I hope you got something out of this video. So at the moment, uh, very negative sentiment. If you think the negative sentiment is something that you would like to profit from, so maybe then it's now the right time to buy, or maybe uh, you wait wait a little bit longer to buy, uh, as I, for example, uh, consider doing it. But of course, we all do, do not have a crystal ball. And if you believe in the company, if you believe in the Witcher series, if you believe in the, in the Cyberpunk series, if you believe that Cyberpunk, uh, that CD Projekt can uh, uh, can pull off some other uh, AAA games in the future, and that their uh, transformation uh, uh, of their company is, is, is going on uh, positively, uh, then of course I would say then uh, then yeah why not then investing in, in CD Projekt is definitely not the a bad idea but as always i'm not a financial advisor make up your own mind this is just my opinion and uh, of course no one can invest the money for you you have to invest your own money so if you were buying uh, in at 200 and now we on 50 yeah you lost some money you're really down now but uh, have a long term have a long term mindset this is the most important thing so and for the rest uh, i mean it's investing so stocks go down and they go down a lot and then it looks not pretty and you're in the minus but when it goes up again, you're smiling, you're going to be happy and everything is good. So thank you very much for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye bye.